Shalom Arehem. Peace be unto thee. I am Messenger Daniel. This is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Invite you to listen to WAVS 1170 AM every Wednesday morning from 5 to 6 and every Saturday morning from 4 to 5.30. Shalom Alehem. Scattered across 
across the sea In the belly of them ships we sail So much misery I am messenger Daniel. It is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back. Yahushua Ministries. Say Shalom Alehem. To all my Israel brothers and sisters, no matter where you are on the full corner of the earth. This message is for everybody. Ministers, pastors, spiritual leaders, or no matter what they are. We will go according to the book of Exodus. First chapter. Verse 1. They are the names of the son of Israel who sent to Egypt with Jacob, each with his family. Verse 2. Rubens, Shimeon, Levites, Judah, Azakar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, and Joseph was already and Egypt. And when we go further in the book of Exodus, 2 chapter verse 1, now a man of the house of Levi become married, take a Levi woman as a wife, and she become pregnant and give birth to a son, because a Levi cannot mix. Any tribe not supposed to be mixed, they came with the other tribes. When Messiah show are coming, there's going to be no confusions. There's going to be 12 gates. Each tribe's going to be assigned according to the tribes. There's going to be tonight, I want to sleep in Judah. Or next time I will meet on the Rubens, on the Simeons. No. So if you have to have a woman, you have to take a wife according to your clans, not according to the other clans, because Messiah Shua is not going to permit a Levi to go to the house of Judah or Benjamin of Don or anything. So Yahweh was to the children of Israel to should be a house of priests. But because of disobedience of the house of Israel, so Yahweh has choose only one of the twelve of the children of Israel to be the priest. So today, there is so many confusions. So many things happened without people knowing exactly. Do I, by Yahweh, give the power and authority to everybody to preach or to teach? Or do I, by Yahweh, Make a covenant only with the tribe of Levi's to minister to him. Let's go according to the scripture and we can see exactly. Remember, there is two tribes. Yahweh do not give the power and authority. The covenant Yahweh make is only to the Levites. Let's go according to the book of Jeremiah, 33 chapter verse 20. This is what Yahweh say. If you can break my covenant with the day and my covenant and the night, so that the day now no longer come after the appointed times. This is what Yahweh say. If you can break my covenant with the day and the night, so that one does not follow the other. If you can break my covenant, that's why Yahweh say. If you can break my covenant with the day. And my covenant with the night, so that the night no longer come at the appointed time. Why Yahweh say that? Verse 21. Then my covenant with David, my servant, and my covenant with the Levites, who are priests ministering before me, can be broken, and David will no longer have a descendant to one and his throne. <laughs> My friend, Yahweh say, if you can break in his covenant, the day will no longer day, 
and deny with no longer night. But if you cannot break it, only then will my covenant with servant David be broken. Only then he no longer has a descendant to reign on his throne. The same is true for my covenant with the Levites, priests who minister before me. So Yahweh choose only the Levites, only the Levites to be priests, to be ministering to him. In order for you to minister to Yahweh, you have to be a descendant of Levites. If you have any questions, with the book of Jeremiah 20, uh, 20, 33 chapter, verse 20 and 21. Maybe it can give you more explanation. And you read it for yourself. So say Yahweh, if you can break my covenant to the day and my covenant to the night, so that the day and the night will not be at the appointed time, because Yahweh appointed a time for the daylight, a die for the night time. So if you can break them down, so that means then my covenant may also be broken. My covenant will also be broken with David, my servant, so that he will not have a son to reign on his throne. And we tell the vertical priest, my ministers. Why you don't see the 12 tribes? Why you say only the Levites? As Yahweh of paradise cannot be counted of the sin of the sea cannot be measured. So I will multiply the descendant of David, my servant, and the Levites who are ministered to me. The Levites who are ministering to me. I don't think there is anything wrong with that, my friend. Second Samuel 25, chapter verse 5. Truly, is not my house so with Yahweh? For Yahweh has made an everlasting covenant with me, order with all things and secure for all my salvation and my desire, will Yahweh not indeed make it grow. Second Chronicles 7, verse 18. Then I will establish your world children as a covenant with your forefather David, saying, You shall not lack a man. To be ruled in Israel. My covenant, I will not violate it, not I will alter the utterance of my lips. Psalm 89, verse 24. Yahweh ensured it. My covenant, I will not violate it, not I will alter the utterance of my lips. So, whatever I will say, my friend, there's no backup. Yahweh always made a covenant. It can never be broken his own word. Most people are confused. The word of Yahweh and the word of humanity. My friend, when you take the book of Malachi 2 chapter verse 4, and you will know that I have sent you this warning so that my covenant with the Levi may continue, said Yahweh the Almighty. My friend, this is what Yahweh said to you. You're all who take and you can preach, you can minister to Yahweh. But I'm telling you, only the job of Levites, Yahweh give a covenant. Yahweh make a covenant with the Levites. Yahweh say, if you can block him, the day, the covenant is the day. Not to be a day, and the covenant in the night, not to be a night. So if you give the power to break that, you couldn't get the power also to break in my covenant with the Levites. Because of you, I will rebuke your descendant. I will smear of your face, the dung from your festival sacrifice, and you'll be careful of with it. I will punish your descendant and splatter your face with the manure from your festival sacrifice, and I will show you in the manupiles. And you, then at last, you will know that it was 
He will set you this warning so that my covenant with the Levites may continue. Said Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. So all those people who try to imitate the Levites, Yahweh said, because of you. So all the people been astray. All the people misleading because of those pastors, those ministers, only the tribe of Levites has the power. Yahweh has given a covenant. Just that he swear to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Just that he swear to the tribe of Levites, they're going to be mystery for the rest of their life. know that I have sent this command to you, those pastors. Yahweh sent this warning to you. That Yahweh make a covenant only with the Levites. Only the Levites can be stand and ministering for Yahweh. But today, 
There is so many confusions. So many things happen. My covenant with the Levites was one of life and peace. And I give them to him as an object of reverence. So he revered me and stood and are my name. My friend, Yahweh give only Levites the power and authority to perform. That's the reason why on the time of Moses, Aaron, the other high priest, even on the temple of Yahushalayim, is only the priests. The other tribes when sacrifice for the Levites to go and sacrifice to Yahweh. That's the same way it's going to be. Because it is a covenant for life. Whatever going to be happen, the Levites going to be always the priests for Abba Yahweh. When we take the book of Numbers 3, chapter verse 11, again, Yahweh speak to Moses saying, Numbers 3, chapter verse 45. Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn. Listen carefully, my friend. Numbers 3, chapter verse 45. Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the sons of Israel. And the cattle of the Levites and the Levites shall be mine. I am Yahweh. Oh, hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. My friend. Listen carefully. Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the sons of Israel. Only the Levites, not the sons of Simeon, Reuben, or Benjamin, or any of the other twelve tribes, but only the tribe of Levites. And Yahweh said to Moses, Take the Levites, and the Levites shall be mine. The Levites, not all the twelve tribes, but only the Levites should be my said Yahweh. Number 18, chapter verse 21. To the son of Levi, behold, I have given all the tithe and Israel for an heritage and return for the service, which they perform the service of the tent of the meeting. And lo, those pastors, those ministers, listen carefully. To the son of Levi, behold, I have given all the tithe and Israel for an inheritance and return to the service, which they perform the service at the tent of the meeting. Nehemiah 13, chapter verse 29. Remember them, O my Yahweh, because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and the Levites. Malachi 3, chapter verse 1. Behold, I'm going to send my messenger and he will clear the way before me. And Yahweh, whom you seek, will suddenly come to his temple. And the messenger of the covenant, the messenger of the covenant, that means the Levites, the, co the messenger of the covenant, and whom you delight, behold, he is coming, said Yahweh of hosts. Yahweh always remember his covenant. The covenant always sealed with blood. Any sacrifice has to make the blood. If at the time of Moses, why there is all the tribe of Israel always go to the priests, the high priests? Do you take Yahweh chase? Malachi 2 chapter verse 4. Malachi 2 chapter verse 6. Yahweh say, I am Yahweh, I change not. That's the reason why the children of Israel do not consume. So if Yahweh did not change, Yahweh give his covenant. Yahweh give the tribe of Levites only the power and authority to minister to him, to appear before him. No one, no one on the other tribes has the power and authority and Abba Yahweh do not make any covenant with any other tribe of Benjamin, Dan, Reuben, Shimeon, Naphtali, Asher, or whatsoever they are, but only to the tribe of Levi's. But today there is so many people who are preaching, there is so many people who are teachers, so many people tend to represent Yahweh, but do I buy Yahweh know those people? Do I buy Yahweh make any covenant with them? When we take the book of Jeremiah 
28 chapter verse 9. But the prophet who prophesied peace will be recognized as one to be sent by Yahweh. Only the prediction come true. So, a prophet who predict peace must show his right. Only when his prediction come true can we know that he is really from Yahweh. But there is so many people who are preaching, who are pre making prediction, Yahshua is coming, I didn't say Jesus is coming. It's not yet coming where he is. My friend, it is a time to wake up. Yahweh said in Malachi 3, chapter verse 6, I am Yahweh, I change not. If Yahweh do not change, Yahweh make a covenant with the Levites to be a priesthood. Only the Levites, Yahweh give the power and authority to do whatever the earth to appear before Yahweh. Moses put a trap of Levites on with the trap of Levites. So now, Messiah Shua is the only high priest. The Levite can be only priest, but long time the Levite was the high priest. But as Messiah Shua is the author of the priest, so is is the higher one in the other priest. That's the reason why I cannot be a high priest, because Messiah Shua is the only high priest. So there's only one high priest, it's Messiah Shua. But if Messiah Shua was not a high priest, I would be consider myself as a high priest. But Messiah Shua is above all those priests and the trap of Levites. So my friend, it is a time to cut down the confusions Yahweh is not the author of confusions. When Yahweh says something, he means what he say, and he say what is meant. But now everybody think they can be a preacher. Everybody think they can minister to Yahweh. Everybody think they can make a sacrifice to Yahweh. But all them claim they from the trap of Judah. How can you come from the trap of Judah and you can perform ceremony or sacrifice and end? If you take the scripture, there is only a book of Leviticus, meaning Leviticus, that means the Levites. The book of Leviticus is for the Levites. I don't see the book of Judites. I don't take the book of Dance. I don't see the book of Benjamin. But the book of Leviticus means it's only for the Levites, my friend. Now we give the Levites the way they should be conduct themselves. The way they should be live their self. The way they should be set apart. Yahweh do not make a covenant with the 12 tribal children of Israel, but only Yahweh make a covenant, a everlasting covenant, with the tribe of Levites. If you can break in the covenant of the day and the covenant of the night, so you can break also my covenant with the Levites to be a priest forever and ever. My friend, I will not gonna let this keep longer. I want everybody to have the opportunity to listen to that message. It is a warning to all those pastors, ministers, and spiritual leaders, no matter the group they call themselves. If you are in front of trap of Judah, sit down, take the back seat. Yahweh give his covenant. Only one tribe has the power and authority to minister it to Yahweh. Is only the trap of Levites. My friend, may I will bless you and keep you. May I will give his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. May I will give his content upon you and give you peace. The same Yahshua Hamashiach. Shalom Adahem. I am Messenger Daniel. Until next time, say Shalom Adahem. Peace be in today. When I wake up in the morning, all I want to do, see your face, Yahweh. When I wake up in the morning, all I want to do, call your name. Not to call you cause we got a problem. Not to call you cause we got a question. I 
just wanna call your name like a child calling daddy Yahweh. 